Section one of Miscellaneous Poe. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Miscellaneous Poe by Edgar Allan Poe. Section one Annabel Lee. It was many and many a year ago, in a kingdom by the sea, that a maiden there lived whom you may know by the name of Annabel Lee. And this maiden she lived with no other thought than to love and be loved by me. I was a child and she was a child in this kingdom by the sea, but we loved with a love that was more than love, I and my Annabel Lee, with a love that the winged Saros of heaven coveted her and me, and this was the reason that long ago in this kingdom by the sea a wind blew out of a cloud chilling my beautiful annabel lee so that her high-born kinsman came and bore her away from me to shut her up in a sepulchre in this kingdom by the sea the angels not half so happy in heaven went envying her and me yes that was a reason as all men know in this kingdom by the sea that the wind came out of the cloud by night chilling and killing my Annabel Lee. But our love, it was stronger by far than the love of those who were older than we, of many far wiser than we, and neither the angels in heaven above nor the demons down under the sea can ever dissever my soul from the soul of the beautiful Annabel Lee. For the moon never beams without bringing me dreams of the beautiful Annabel Lee. And the stars never rise, but I see the bright eyes of the beautiful Annabel Lee. And so, all the night-tide, I lay down by the side of my darling, my darling, my life and my bride. In her sepulchre there by the sea, in her tomb by the side of the sea. End of section 1. Annabel Lee. Section two of Miscellaneous Poe. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Helen Taylor, Oxford, UK. Miscellaneous Poe by Edgar Allan Poe. Section two. The Bells. Hear the sledges with the bells. Silver bells, what a world of merriment their melody foretells! How they tinkle, tinkle, tinkle in their icy air of night, while the stars that oversprinkle all the heavens seem to twinkle with a crystalline delight, keeping time, time, time in a sort of runic rhyme to the tintinnabulation that so musically wells. From the bells, 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 From the jingling and the tinkling of the bells. Hear the mellow wedding bells, golden bells, What a world of happiness their harmony foretells! Through the balmy air of night, how they ring out their delight! From the molten golden notes and all in tune, What a liquid ditty floats! To the turtle dove that listens while she gloats on the moon. Oh, from out the sounding cells, what a gush of euphony voluminously wells! How it swells! How it dwells on the future! How it tells of the rapture that impels to the swinging and the ringing of the bells, 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 of the bells, 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 to the rhyming and the chiming of the bells. Hear the loud alarum bells, brazen bells, what a tale of terror now their turbulency tells. In the startled ear of night, how they scream out their affright, too much horrified to speak, they can only shriek, shriek, out of tune, in a clamorous appealing to the mercy of the fire, in a mad expostulation with the deaf and frantic fire, leaping higher, 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 with a desperate desire, and a resolute endeavour, now, now to 
Sample complete. Ready to continue?